I don't know if there's too many open world games, because choice is a good thing, isn't it? Although, I mean, there's certainly too many open world games for me to play all of them, but it's not, it's not all about me, is it? Is it? It's an Indiana Jones movie you get to play, isn't it? But like one of the good ones, one of the first three, not the one with the spaceships where Harrison Ford looked like a collaboration between Madame Two Swords and World of Leather. I get two reactions to people when I tell them that I play Minecraft and it is either what is Minecraft or my kid likes Minecraft. I've, I've never had a positive conversation with an adult when telling them what I spend most of my waking hours doing. I don't really have, I don't really have a first memory of Pokemon. It's, it's not a game I've played much for a long while. It's just something that I've gradually become aware of more over the years. Because I think w when the first Pokemon game came out, that was round about the same time that I discovered alcohol and genitals. I think my favourite Pokemon is probably Love Disc, because it's just it's just the laziest piece of game design you've ever seen. I, do, you, do you know Love Disc? Literally, if you drew a heart on its side and stuck two eyes and a mouth on it, that's it. The character Love Disc in Pokemon took less time to design than I've just been speaking. People just love collecting stuff, don't they? Like, it's, for, for me, games like Assassin's Creed, if you, if you put a thing on the Assassin's Creed map, I have got to collect all of them, regardless of whether they're fun or not. Spoilers, they're not. And I guess Pokemon is just the purest form of that, getting all the things. Steve versus John, fight! For the viewers, I am Gengar. That's Gengar right there. I am Gengar. I'm there he Gengar, is. Gengar emerging from the bottom of the stadium. And I am Pikachu, Pikachu Libre. Libre. The uh, excitingly Mexican Pikachu. Oh, Look I'm... at Pikachu! It's ridiculous. Pika! Pika! Oh, Pika. oh fair oh, shift. I feel like I've started badly. This makes as little sense as Smash Brothers does when I play that. Yeah. I have no idea what's going well, on. It's not about sense, is it? There we go, the ship, the phaser shifted, uh, buttons were pressed. Ooh, that looked good. Oh, hello. Hello. Ooh, What's hello. this? Oh, Morgan, coming in. I go. think I'm going to do you. Huh? Oh, no, it's, oh, no, actually, you're doing pretty well as well, aren't you? I don't think you're going to do me, my oh. son. I don't think that will ever happen. Oh. And, ladies and gentlemen, and it's good night from him. Oh, no, you got me with your purple tornado. And then your big Oh, thing. what's this? Oh, no. What's oh, no. this? What's going on? Oh, no. Well, whatever Hello. it was, I want you to understand. Good yep. golly gosh. Holy. I am Gengar. What? Gog what happened what? then? Wow. Do I? Surely I win. I always thought I'd be a suppository. Did I win? Did I, did I win? I think you won that Ooh. one, my son. Hello. Stakes. Oh, dear. Right. Hello. For oh, my. <laughs> Oh, I am getting... I wanted to lose because I've got to go back somewhere else after yeah. this, but I think I'm going to beat you. Oh, oh he... no. Hello, folks. Hello, uh, folks. No. Hello, folks. Oh, what's Buttons. this? Goodness gracious me. Oh, a little touch of the old professional wrestling. What you going to do, mate, when John Robertson's electrical rodent runs wild on it's you? It's not doing nothing. Ah, I'm going to lose. Here we go. I really thought I was going to win. Woo! What a delight. What fun. I really enjoyed playing Pokken Tournament with you. It was enjoyable to beat you at this children's game. <laughs> You're the better man. I want to go home. You can't. I can. Bye. Get out. Bigger. Well, Sonic was important because until Sonic, it was Alex Kidd. Wasn't it? That was, that was like, you can't, I can't really believe Alex Kidd was everything because he's just, just like an angry baby in a wig. When I was a kid, when it came out, the thing that made Mortal Kombat good was that it had blood in it. And when you're a kid and things have blood in it, it is awesome. Whereas now, if things have blood in it, I can't sleep until I've seen my GP. Which style of gameplay do I prefer? That's like asking me whether I prefer to have needles stamped into the skin between my fingers or drinking a strawberry and shattered glass daiquiri. In all seriousness, I'd like to see an infinite health mode. Seriously, because I, they look amazing, they're a lot of fun, but I'm never going to be good at them and I'm never going to put the hours in, but I want to see all the, the nice stuff. I know gamers will put, oh, that's not the point, you're not going to do it, but you can still play it on I hate myself mode if you want it to be hard and horrible, but I just, I just want to look at all the snazzy graphics and, and see what they did, because I only ever see the first half an hour. So just beat this man in a fight and then we're done. Why is he not moving? You said, oh, oh, hello, hello, hello. Hit him, hit him. How do you not get killed? Ugh, I'm gonna die again. It's not fun, is it? That's the problem. Hit him. 
Oh no, oh god. He's dead. I didn't even have time to drink my second bottle of squash. All right, it's him, it's him now. It's him with a big stick. Ooh, poo. I'll be honest, Matt, I don't think I'm gonna do better than this. If I don't do this one, I'll admit defeat and... I mean, Dan Mar will be happy if he wins anyway. He, he needs this more than me. Yeah, no, I'm dead. Dead, mate. It's like, it's like going up to a bully and calling him names so ill at you. Yeah. Dan Mar wins, probably. Well, time travel is popular in games for the same reason it's popular in other forms of entertainment. It's just fantasy wish fulfillment, isn't it? We can't actually travel through time. So games give us a way to get a taste of that. Same with Mario, you know, you can actually be a plumber. The two main things I associate with JRPGs are probably misogynistic wardrobe choices for female characters and little animals with massive eyes. Oh, knickers! Where did he spring from? Crash Bandicoot was really lucky because it, it's, it wasn't great, it's not as good as Super Mario 64, but it, it came out when we were all excited about 3D platforms before we knew whether they were good or bad ones. So got away with it. I think it's one of those ones that you sort of had to be there to enjoy it. Like Wham! Civilization Revolution. I spent, I spent way too long on that. Horse um, rushing. Are you familiar with horse rushing? So you just didn't do anything else, you just made them all make horses as quick as possible, make a horse army, and then just go around and kill everyone before they've even worked out they shouldn't be eating mud. I just like another Civilization Revolution game. And apparently there is what there's Civilization Revolution 2 apparently, which is on uh, it's on Android, iOS and Vita. No idea why they've released it on Vita. It's a legacy card. I can only assume 2K don't like making money. Steve McNeil is our demolitions expert, having once emptied an entire convent of nuns just by walking inside. It's easy, it's just pilot wings, isn't it? At what points did Dan Mar get? Because, as you know, contractually, we're not allowed to beat Dan Mar. Bullseye! Oh no, and I've done a fall. So I need to, I'm going to have to crash in a minute, otherwise Dan's going to be very upset. Oh, I beat, I beat Dan. Good. Let's magnet. So the idea is to get the rocks. Oh, hang on, I've got to turn it on, haven't I? There we are. Turn the it on. Get your rocks. Where do I dump them? Is it in there? I don't know what I'm doing on this one. I think Dan's going to do well on this one because um, he, he's pedantic, isn't he? And this is quite, it's quite fiddly, this one. So, oh, hello, hello. It's all happening. There you go. No worry. No worry. In you go. Plop. Oh, look, there's loads here. Hello. Hello, sir. Yes, please. More rocks for Daddy. That's me lot, isn't it? I wish Dan Ma the very best of luck um, in life. Having a chat with Dan Ma uh, just before we started, and I think we've worked out that I have to come third out of the three of us to uh, let him win. So I'm going to do my best. But although I've been unfair to Dan all the way through this, Eva was rubbish as well. Oh dear. Yeah. It still totally counts. Where am I? <laughs> oh, there we go. Shortcut. Good. It's look. We're looking good for second place, which is what we want, of course. Just to really rub Dan Mar's face in it. Ooh, what's going to happen, Dan? Am I going to beat you? We don't know. Right, here we go. One minute 36. Tidy. Uh, so that is a victory for, for the best person on Video Game Nation.